Hi guys and girls, Gertler from Cape Town. Welcome to another video. This is going to be the fourth video in the 100 series videos about mission critical training concepts for the older guy. So in this video, we're going to discuss uh, the attack plan for the older guy, how to get the lagging muscle groups up to the level of the rest. The fact is few of us have got a perfectly balanced and symmetrical look. Our muscles is simply not all developed on the same level. Most guys typically struggle with one, even up to three muscle groups that lag behind the rest. The bottom line is these lagging groups, they're killing your look. Just by bringing them up to the same level as the rest of your muscle. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna have a massive impact on your overall look. In simple terms, it's gonna result in a wow look. Now add some fun with Photoshop to just show you a couple examples of how bad lagging muscle groups really are. Let's say my, my biceps was lagging in respect of the rest of my body. This is how I would have looked. Or let's say my legs was lagging in respect of my body. I mean there's a lot of guys with beach body sets, huge lagging in the leg department. And then of course there's a surprising number of guys that struggles with one muscle, like a bicep muscle, being smaller than the other bicep muscle, or one upper leg muscle being smaller than the other leg muscle. Now, now that could be due to various factors. A lot of them had injuries in the past and that's resulted over the long term that the one muscle is literally smaller than the other. Now this could severely damage your overall look. Now these lagging muscle groups, they that can be corrected. That's a good news. Bad news is it's, it's never a quick process. It takes time. So what should your attack plan look like to correct this problem? First, I strongly support the theory that the older guy should train four days a week. In this four days, he should cover the whole body. That training program should be balanced in its approach. So yes, it must incorporate some very specific exercises. The exercises must be done in a certain way. Plus the different muscle groups need to be stringed together in the correct manner. All of these important stuff. Okay, now let's assume you got this four day training program sorted out, where you hit the whole body all muscle groups equally. Remember the purpose of this four day training program is to give every muscle group equal opportunity with equal intensity to grow. So even if you got that sort, then there still is a significant percentage of guys that will struggle with genetic aspects where it's just genetically that they struggle to build biceps or genetically that they struggle to build legs. And even if you have the right training approach for that four days, you might still struggle to grow certain muscle groups. Now this needs to be corrected, whether it's genetic or not. So how do you correct this lagging muscle group problem? Now my training concept puts a fifth day of training aside. I usually allocate it to Saturdays. Now this fifth day training is for no other purpose but to focus only on the lagging muscle groups. Just to note you guys, five days, it is the absolute maximum for an over 40, over 50, over 60 guy to train. If you go six days training, the body cannot handle it. And I'm telling you, you're not gonna grow. Now this fifth day training, it's, an, it's a normal training session, meaning you warm up as you would usually do, you do your stretches in between or after training, and you do roughly 16 to 22 sets. So nothing fancy, normal training session with the big difference. You only train the lagging muscle groups. Now let me give you some example. Let's say the left calf is smaller than the right calf. Then you would do your seated calf raises and your standing calf raises only with the left calf. The right calf must completely be in a resting position with no weight applied to it. For example, if your right biceps is smaller than your left bicep, then you would only do bicep curls with your right bicep. Concentration bicep curls, dumbbell bicep curls, and hammer curls. Now, now just a note on chest. Early on, just after 40, I, I struggled severely with a lagging chest. And the only way that I overcome it eventually, I started doing inclined bench presses. Now inclined bench presses, you must do it very, very heavy and very intense. That activates the upper part of the chest. Now many guys has got fairly decent chest muscles but it's only the lower part of the chest and the chest still looks flat and it actually looks a bit like women titties that you got if the bottom part is too big. But when the upper part of the pecs are triggered and developed well then the chest has got fullness to it and it also itch off the chest against the shoulder muscle and your traps muscle and that gives an impressive upper body look. If your pecs muscles are lagging I strongly suggest inclined bench press. Okay, this is it for video number four. My coaching. Guys, my advanced system too, that is a system I've got for the older guy. It includes all my teachings and everything I discuss in all my videos. 
and it's specifically designed for your body and your goal. It's hugely comprehensive, it's nearly 100 pages in length and I spend a lot of time on it. So if you want to go that route, it gives you everything to do step by step and helps you put everything in place. The link is on the screen, check that out. And then lastly, I'm asking please guys for a small donation to help me keeping my videos pumping out and help me to keep my information free. So those of you that can afford it, please. Everybody, happy training, Hatler from Cape Town signing off. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.